Hi, I'm the Lock Picking Cuber, and in this video, I'm going to have another go at solving a times quick cryptic crossword number. What's this? 2090. Um, so the quick cryptics are very like the times cryptics, but uh, they're a bit smaller, fewer clues, and sometimes slightly less obscure words, <laughs> and maybe slightly simpler clues. So they're, they're a little bit easier, but not much. Okay, so entertainer, mature, one detained. Mature is making me think old. Um, one detained. Aged would be another thing. Hostage. Host age. Yeah, there we go. Right, so um, the way this one works is that the definition is someone who's detained, which is a hostage. And we've got entertainer, which is the host. The host at a party is the entertainer. And then mature is age. That seems a little strange to me, but I guess there must be some context in which age can be used as a... Oh no, I see, it's a verb. If you, if you get old, if you mature, then you age, like a fine wine. Okay, so let's look at this one. One down, reportedly man's in the shade. Reportedly man's in the shade. So when we get reportedly, and there's various other words that have this effect or phrases as well, it means we're looking for something that sounds like something else. So we're going to have... Uh, Ah, oh, right, I see the answer, yes. Yeah. So it's hue. So the reason this works is because um, hue is a man's name, but it's spelled H-U-G-H. Um, and so what we have here is something that sounds like that and ends up meaning a shade. And this, in this case, it's not shade in the sense of shadow, it's shade in the sense of color, which is a hue. Okay, one who will agree seeing desire to accommodate son, mother. Uh, yeah, okay. So this is yes man. And the reason it's yes man is because we've got um, a desire. A desire is a yen, a Y-E-N. If you have a yen for something, it means you desire it. And we're accommodating son and mother. So son is abbreviated to just S and mother is abbreviated to M-A. Um, most of the time in crossword clues, the synonyms that get used are picked just because they're short. So MA for mother and PA for father, or sometimes FR for father as well. It's not because they're particularly special, it's just that they're short, so you can fit them in lots of places. And this abbreviation S for son, as you'll see, um, you can't just pick any word and have its first letter come out to represent it. Um, S is an official abbreviation for son in the sense that it appears in the dictionary, the Chambers Dictionary, which the Times uses, I think. Um, so you're allowed to use those abbreviations only that are in the dictionary. Okay, so number two, fighter's aura is stirring, gripping male. Fighter's aura is stirring. So this is probably, oh yeah, I know what this is. Right, so what we've got here, the definition of this clue is a fighter. Um, and aura is is going to be stirred. So this is an anagram indicator. You'll see there's just hundreds of words that can be used to indicate an anagram. In this case, it's stirring. But if we anagram aura is, we don't quite get all the letters we need. It's seven, and aura is is only six letters. But that's okay, because it's gripping male. And this is one of those abbreviations you're allowed to use and shows up commonly. Actually, male is almost always abbreviated to M. So if we anagram aura, is, and m, we get a type of fighter, which is a samurai. So what's this? Girl's pannier missing outside. All oh, right, okay. Um, so this is a, a nice example of something that I think is a really useful principle to remember with cryptic crosswords, which is when we talk about a, a thing, like a pannier in this case, you shouldn't really picture the object, you shouldn't picture a bag, you should just look at it as a set of letters. And so in this case, the pannier is missing its outside, so the letters on the outside are the P and the R, and if we take those off, we get Annie, which is a girl's name. So that's the girl. Okay, no spiel, surprisingly, so I immediately think this is an anagram. Um, of no spiel, and it's going to be a letter from Greece, right? So a letter from Greece is epsilon. In other words, a, a letter from the Greek alphabet, and we've anagrammed no spiel with surprisingly being the anagram indicator in this case. Protection, quiet, that is given to Lord briefly. Now, I don't know the answer to this yet, but um, I do know a couple of things. So one is quiet 
gets used a lot in crossword clues and it tends to either be P for piano, which is the Italian for quiet, used in musical notation, or, and I guess maybe this will be the case here, it's SH as in shh, be quiet. Um, so maybe it's gonna start with SH. Oh yes, I see the answer now. So then the next one is to know that that is, sometimes that is can have other purposes in a clue, but quite often it means you're gonna use IE, the abbreviation from id est in Latin, which means that is. And then Lord briefly is an abbreviation for Lord, which is LD, and that gives us a shield, which is a form of protection. Okay, so this looks like another anagram. Game from oil era it's newly ordered. So again, we're gonna newly order, in other words, reorder the letters of oil era it's, and that's gonna give us a game. Um, I'm not sure I know what that is yet. It's probably really obvious, but I can't get it. Let's see, quickly stuck. Okay, so this is an interesting example of a, another kind of clue that you get quite often, which is just a double definition. So in most clues in a cryptic crossword, you have a definition and then you have some wordplay. Um, so if we look at shield again, for example, the definition was protection, which is saying, okay, the answer is going to mean protection. And then we have a piece of wordplay, which in this case was everything else quiet that is given to Lord briefly, and that tells us how to make up the word. Um, but in this case, where we have a double definition, there isn't really any wordplay, it's just that one of the words quickly is gonna mean the answer and the other word stuck is also gonna mean the answer. Um, so what's a word that means both quickly and stuck? Well, it's fast. If something is fast, um, it means it's moving fast, moving quickly, but it also can mean it's stuck fast. Does that help me with this game? Sil, sol, solitaire, there we go. Right, solitaire is the game made by anagramming oil era its. So what was this? Love affair makes Scottish real. Love affair makes Scottish real. I'm, I wouldn't, uh, probably not flirt, although that would fit, but I don't think that really means a love affair, does it? And Scottish real, I don't know, I mean, Scottish real is a type of dance, right? But could be all kinds of other things going on here. So let's move on. I don't know what that is. What might reveal sight, including tree, extremely typical? Now, I don't know what's happening here, but extremely often means taking the first and last letters of something. So it's the extremes of the word. So it could be T and L, but I'm wondering if it actually is T and E in this case. And then maybe the whole thing means typical. So typical could be the definition or what might reveal sight could be the definition. It's worth noting the definition is always or almost always at the, either at the beginning or at the end. You don't get the definition in the middle of a cryptic clue. Um, what might reveal sight, including tree extremely? See, I'm thinking it's some long word that means like a telescope or something like that, something that reveals a sight. And then you put TE in the middle of it and you get typical. Um, I can't think what it is though, but this is making me wonder if this would be an A. Does that help me for sort of ant at the end? Or it could be E, I suppose. Yeah, there's lots of things it could be actually. All right. Served in unit with foolish person. So a foolish person, not always, but often it's a knit. Again, just because it's short. I'm just wondering if this is like knitwit. Why would it, why would it be knitwit? Served in unit with, oh, <laughs> I see, sorry. Right, so this is a, an example of a type of clue you, you always get actually, or at least one of these in any times cryptic crossword. Um, so the answer is actually contained literally letter by letter in the clue. So in this case, we've got N-I-T-W-I-T. -I -I so it's served inside unit with. Um, I'd say the word served here is a bit uh, extraneous. You didn't need the word served and the whole clue would still work, but they've put served in to make it sound like it's something to do with the military, which is not, of course. All right, son's effect on fellow touching. 
sort of want this to be tanning, but is that right? Sun's effect on fellow touching. I don't know. If it is tanning, I'm not really sure why, so I'll move on. Exploding star would be a supernova. Prove that's wrong. Yeah, it's an anagram of a sun prove. And that's a, an exploding star. So in this case, that's wrong is the anagram indicator. There's Really, there's almost no end to the number of ways they can express that it's an anagram. Um, and here we've got that's wrong, telling us to take the letters prove a sun and um, rearrange them when we get supernova, which is a type of exploding star. Period of year with time for good race. Um, I don't know the answer to this, but one important thing to notice with these clues is they're sort of designed to trick you by seeming like a sentence, but you shouldn't treat them like a sentence. So if I read it as period of year with time for good race, I'm not really going to get anywhere, but if I think of it as just a bunch of words all joined together, period, of, year, with, time, for, good, race, then you're more likely to be able to see the wood for the trees. A um, few thoughts. One is that year is often abbreviated to Y. Um, time is almost always abbreviated to T, and good is often abbreviated to G. Spring is a period of year. Why is that right? Mm, period of year with time. I don't know. That seems plausible, but I don't know why, so I'm going to delete it for now. New dawn since arenas rebuilt. So this is obviously another anagram, this time of since arenas. Now, why do I, why do I know so sure? Why am I so sure that it's since arenas? Because it could also be an anagram of dawn since, but it just hasn't got the right number of letters. Um, so if this was a phrase that did have 11 letters, then you'd have, it would be much harder to know. Well, it could be that that's the anagram and the definition is rebuilt. But in this case, because we need to get to 11 letters, we can see that it's since arenas, which is the uh, words that need to be anagramized. In other words, they need to be rebuilt. And that tells us the definition is new dawn. So it's Renaissance, which is almost literally what New Dawn, what Renaissance means is almost literally New Dawn, but not quite. It's more like New Birth, isn't it? Rebirth. Anyway, Sons of Yeah, it still looks like tanning. Anyway, um, Brown, private investigator. Well, a private investigator is a PI seen in water. Sepia. Yeah, so the water is the sea, S E A. And then a PI is seen inside it. So again, when something is in something, we don't usually sort of picture the person inside the water or you know, underwater or anything like that. We picture the letters in the other letters. And in this case, we get sepia, which is a kind of brown color, right? Quite attractive, yeah, pretty. So this is another nice double definition. Um, and it's really nice actually, because it's, it's sort of the whole thing is also the definition in a way. Something, if someone's quite attractive, they're pretty. If someone's attractive, they're pretty. And if something is quite something, then it's pretty something. You know, it's pretty big, it's quite big. So sort of almost like a triple definition, that one. I like that. Okay, weight not brought up. Okay, very simple one, that one. So brought up just means reversing the letters. Now, an important thing here is that they wouldn't be allowed to do that in an across clue. It has to be a down clue um, because up is telling us that the word is read upwards, not N-O-T, upwards, is brought up. But obviously, if you wrote it across, then uh, it wouldn't work. You'll see this with east and west and left and right as well. Um, if they use east and west in a clue, sometimes it means you read the word backwards. But that only works for an across clue, not a, not a down clue. Section in old hospital with no luxury. So hospital is usually H, but I'm not so sure in this case what it's going to be. I don't know, section in old hospital with no luxuries. No, don't know. Clothing boast rebuffed. So I'm thinking rebuffed is probably just turn around. Um, brag is a, is a boast. And if you turn that around, you get garb. Whoops. Garb is a type of, is a word for clothing and brag, which is that rebuffed or backwards is a boast or to boast 
initially not appreciating Robert. Powerful guy, right. Okay, so a couple of things happening here. The definition is powerful guy. Um, and initially not appreciating means we're going to take the first letters of not and appreciating. And that gives us N-A. And then Robert, there's a very standard abbreviation or shortened form of Robert, <coughs> which is Bob. And we get a Nabob, which is a powerful guy in some parts of the world. Practical party skilled. Practical party skilled. Um, what is that? So this is often the case when you get one of these three word clues. You could read it both ways around. So the definition could be practical, and then we could have a word for party followed by a word for skilled. And by the way, a common word used for party is just do, D-O. So this could start D-O and then have a four letter word for skilled, for example, meaning practical. Um, doable, yeah, that's the answer actually. Sorry, but I did that halfway through. So the other way around is that we could decide um, that the definition was skilled and then we had practical and party as the two words, but this, in this case it's the other way around. So party is do, skilled is able, and the whole thing means practical, doable. It's possible to do it. Muscle comes in instant, leading to postscript. Well, a, a, a postscript is a PS, right, at the end of a letter, so that's PS. And you probably are aware lots of muscles end in EPS, like biceps, and so does this one, which is, I think, triceps. At the moment I only know that because it's a muscle that fits. Um, so, oh, a trice, yes, a trice is an instant. If you say, I'll be there in a trice, you mean I'll be there in an, in an instant. And um, triceps is obviously a, a muscle. Not, by the way, a plural, it's a singular muscle, triceps. Anyway, it's just me being a bit pedantic there. <laughs> Section in old hospital with no luxuries. Oh, so a san was a, was a, is a word for a hospital, an abbreviation for a hospital, S-A-N, short for sanatorium. Uh, oh, right, I see. Yep. So Spartan is a word for no luxuries, or with no luxuries, actually. Old hospital is san, and then a section is a part. A section of a book might be a part of that book. Oh, good. I'm glad this isn't tanning, because that didn't really make sense to me. <laughs> uh, but what is it instead? Sun's effect on fellow touching. Let's come back to that. What's this? Period of year with time for good race. Uh, definitely not spring then. Period of year with time. So there's T for time. For good race. So the whole thing must mean good race, I suppose. What's good race? I don't know what that means. Spoilt fits, but it doesn't make sense. Period of year. So period of a year, a quarter or a month or a season. Spring, summer, winter, autumn, fall. Bleh, don't know. Okay, what's this then? What might reveal sight? Yeah. Including tree extremely. So this can't be where TE goes. If it has TE in it. What might reveal sight? Okay, so the whole thing is. Oh, survey. What is it? Surveillant? Is that a word? <laughs> I'm not even sure it's a word. What might reveal sight, including tree? Extremely typical. I'm not too convinced that this is right yet. I don't even know what it means. I can believe it's a thing that reveals a sight, but why is it the answer including tree? Extremely typical. Surveil is a word, but I don't know what lant would mean. Well, I'm a bit dubious about that, I'm afraid. I'm going to take it out. What else could it be? I don't know, let's see. So, 
if this ended in A, I wondered if it did, didn't I? What was that then? Love Affair makes Scottish real. Unfortunately, if I'm supposed to know the names of a Scottish reel, I don't know any. Is a Cayley a reel? No, I think a Cayley is a sort of an event at which you might do a reel, perhaps. I don't know. Love Affair. A fling! That's the answer. Right, yes. Oh, good. I'm kind of glad again that this isn't so valent because it doesn't make any sense. Oh, it's something light, right? A light reveals a sight. Including tree. Uh, what might reveal a sight? Something light. A survey light? <laughs> Don't know. I'm obviously obsessed with surveys now and surveilling. Extremely typical. So I'm pretty sure that what might reveal sight is the definition. So we've got... Oh wait, it could be what might reveal. And then we might have sight include... Oh wait, we've got the word sight here. Oh, there we go, I see. Oh, it's very straightforward, actually. <laughs> right, so the definition is what might reveal, actually, not quite what might reveal sight. This is one of the things you have to be careful about. Sometimes the commas can fool you into thinking there's a sensible separation, but there really isn't. So what might reveal is the definition of a street light, because they reveal things. Sight is literally just here, S-I-G-H-T in the answer. And then we've also literally just got tree, and then TL, which is the extreme letters of typical TL. I was sort of thinking you can't have TL in the answer, but of course you can in a word like street light. All right, just two left. What have we got? Sun's effect on fellow touching. On fellow. Why is it on a fellow? So fellow can just mean a man or a person, but it can also mean like a professor at a university, which will often be abbreviated to Don, which is the Oxford version of a fellow, but that doesn't fit here. Touching. Touching can mean sort of moving and emotional, but it can also mean um, physically touching. Tangent? A tangent is a line that touches. That's the answer, yeah. There we go. Right, so the sun's effect is a tan. If it, it tans you, and then a gent is a fellow. And a, a tangent is a line that touches a circle. <laughs> That's not a very good definition, but it, it, it's true. Right, period of time. Period of year. Period of year with time for good race. What does this mean? Oh, is it sprint? Period of year with time for good. Oh, love it. Ah, oh, good. Right, I love these kinds. You don't often get them. Uh, but what they've done is they've got the period of the year, which is spring, as I thought earlier. But we've got time for good, so the T is replacing the G in spring, and we get sprint. This is such a nice clue, and I always forget that they even exist, but um, they do come up. So a sprint is obviously a race. If we take the word spring and we put time in place of good, we replace the G in spring with a T, uh, we get sprint. All right, let's just check that that is um, correct. I think it is. Yeah, there we go. All right, so... That was uh, a solve of a Times Quick Cryptic Crossword, number 2090. Hope you enjoyed watching it. Um, I do think Cryptic Crosswords are great fun, well worth getting into. Um, they do require kind of specialist knowledge, but in some sense it's almost arbitrary knowledge. You learn, for example, that the word tar is a way of saying a sailor, but no one ever uses that. I mean, it literally is never used. So it's something you only know for the sake of crosswords. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.